Welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles, everybody, where we are about to be attacked by a, a big red dragon. Jesus Christ, he's quite big, actually. Um, shit. I was trying to work out if he was any different from the last one, but actually I'm, I'm fairly sure he is, because he, he, he's much bigger. What's he going to do? Hmm. I'm worried he's going to set fire to more stuff. Or maybe, maybe he's just going to take longer to take down. I mean, that would make sense, right? Bigger dragon, you know, probably built of uh, sterner stuff. He's, he's definitely had his wheat mix in the morning, you know. Maybe does a, a little bit of working out, perhaps, with, like, down the dragon gym, you know. Uh, a bit of weightlifting, perhaps. I mean, I don't know what kind of weights dragons lift. Like, maybe how many humans they can carry in their mouth? I don't know, that's pretty grim, isn't it? But he's, he's pretty majestic, it's got to be said. Um, however, we are filling him with arrows and ballista shell, uh, shells. Ballista, like, things. I don't know what they're really called. Arrows, I guess. <laughs> Again, uh, ballista shots. Let's just call them shots. But uh, it does, doesn't look like he's, he's actually doing any damage. Maybe he's just scoping the place out for now. Like, trying to work out how much of a threat we are. Um, in fact, he's probably just heard me say that. Because he looks like he's, yep, he's about to set fire to some stuff. Wow, he's, he's just breathing fire everywhere. Um, huh. We, um, hmm. I mean, we see, he's run away, which is nice, at least. Wow, that was, that was a little bit jarring. Uh, he's run away. He, he only ignited one farm. And, uh, hmm. It, it, we, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always complaining there's no food. We have got plenty of food. Look at that. It's a, it's a big stockpile of food. It's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I mean, that was pretty easy. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, actually. Uh, maybe maybe he was just supposed to be scoping the place out, but actually we did so much damage to him, he's like, fuck this place. Like, I, I don't think there's any reason to come back here. And just legged it, you know? But uh, three cheers for, for the archers, you know? Hip hip and all the rest of it. Because they, they did a, a fantastic job there. Like, And also, I, I checked our gold look. We're making money at the moment, which is good. So, oh, for fuck's sake. It never ends, does it? Genuinely, it never ends. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're making money, which is good. Because uh, it, it means we can keep our archer towers open for now. Oh, look at this. Once a general is nearby waiting, troops will automatically join their army. Stored ready to use. Soldiers ready and waiting. Okay. So we can... Three, let's let's train up like what ten soldiers? That seems alright, doesn't it? Maybe maybe we can train up more than that. Let's train up twenty. There we go, twenty soldiers. Didn't cost us a huge amount. Uh, it's not going to take a huge amount of our armaments either. And maybe uh, there we go. We're going to hire a hero as well. So I'm I'm curious to see how this works. Like I think heroes kind of toughen up an army. Uh, and generals will, like... Ah, uh, good. They've landed on the mainland, at least. So all of our towers are in uh, action at the moment. Oh, except for this corner. Oh, we never rebuilt it after the last onslaught. Shit. Okay. Well, that was... That might have been a bit of a mistake, I'll be honest. Um... If we... If we put one there for now... Okay, and then we'll... We'll... Oh, we don't have enough money. Shit. After training that hero... We... We... We've run out of money. <laughs> um... It does sound like some of our soldiers and stuff are being, are being trained up right now, though. Let's have a little look. Um, we've got two soldiers. Have we got a hero yet? We do. Where's, where's our hero? Oh, here he is. Look at this guy. Nice. We, what, we can control this guy and bring him over here, can we? Is that going to help us with these Viking invaders? Are oh, the sneaky bastards? They don't even need boats. They just cross oceans. Unbelievable. Well, at least they haven't bought any Uyghurs with them this time. There's no, uh, no wall smashers. Just a lot of units. Which, uh, honestly, we can probably deal with units. So, what's, what's the deal with this hero? Do we... How do we give him here? How do we give him... Um... Can, can, can you... Can you bring some... Right click to move. Move to barracks and click the fruit. Oh, here we go. There we go. Right. Bring your, bring your troops and defeat this Viking army. Save the people, Sir Gilion. Gilom. I mean, he's he's going to be going to be backed up by one archer tower. This is going to be an epic battle. Are you ready for this? 
They're coming through Forrester Hill, because of course Forrester Hill hasn't hasn't yet been fully defended. I'll I, I will admit that. Oh shit, we're out of money. Oh no. We can't be out of money. Not now. This is really bad. Uh how do we how do we kill our what, what, we need to we need to turn off something. Uh we need to turn off some of these these towers, I think. Right, this one, it's off. Uh this one, it's off as well. See you later. Um, um, okay, this, these, these ones need to be on at the moment. Where's, where's Sir Gillon? Why aren't you doing your job? Come on, defeat this Viking army. I need you to save the people. They're all on fire right now. That's, that's not saving the people. Oh no, here we go, look. Fight these guys. That's it. Defeat him. Yes, yes, Sir Gillon. Do the damage. Defeat the Viking army. Oh, beautiful. So, backed up by a tower, he was able to, uh... Fend off those those bad guys. He is he has taken a little bit of a battering though. It's got to be said. Um, and we are losing farms. Are all the Viking invaders gone? No, there there's still some somewhere. Oh, here's some. So get on, come deal with the Viking invaders. Uh, he 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 seems to be apprehensive. There we go. Uh, we don't have a tower. Oh, there we go. The tower's done the job. So get on, the job you were supposed to be doing. Well, it looks like one of these armies is fleeing. Which, honestly, I can't blame them. Um, we are totally out of money, which is a problem. I wonder if that's because of all these soldiers we've just trained. I mean, that might... It might be the case, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> but it's fine, okay? It's absolutely fine. Like I said, we'll turn off some of these towers for now. Uh, I know I said I was going to try not to. Oh, no, that's Charcoal Maker. We want that. Um, but we, given, like, how much money they cost... Uh, and the fact that we appear to be very, very low in terms of income coming in. And we... we Have we lost a house? Oh, we have. We've lost one of our big houses as well. Which is probably why our population has dropped so much. And we don't have enough money to build another one. Ah, oh, right. This is going to be tricky. Okay. We should probably... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool, fine. Oh, look, more stuff is on fire over here. Wonderful. Just what we needed. Okay, just... just Exactly what I was really hoping would happen. Uh, I was really hoping that some more stuff would catch fire and I'd have to keep rebuilding it. Okay, I'm fairly sure there was a well up there as well, so it's not like they haven't got access to water. I mean, maybe there isn't. I mean, that, that might be why this forester keeps catching fire, but there... Uh, I, I, I could put... I, I mean, I could give them a well. It, it, it would be nice, wouldn't it? You know, give them a little bit of civilization out in the woods. But, um... Let's have a look. How's it doing? Well, it's still alive. Now it's the trees behind it that have caught fire. Fine. All right. Look, have a well. Okay? Uh, that's that's not a well. That's a cottage. Have a well. We'll see how you survive them. If you can put your own fires out, maybe uh, I won't have to keep rebuilding you. I mean, that's probably a fair assumption, isn't it? I, I can't really... I can't really blame the, the stupid AI that control these little... little. I mean, they are stupid. Honestly. Uh, they're, 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 they're thick as... I mean, look at these guys. They've got no home. So what do they do? Just stand out in the field. Have a little chat. I mean, it's like Mr. T, look. Mr. T has lost his home. And in this, this universe, he's just standing around like, well, Mr. T don't have no place to go. Uh, so Mr. T's it's, it's, it's not going to go no place. Which is a shame. Because Mr. T is, is better than that, you know? We all know Mr. T is better than that. Uh, all of these towers, they're all going to have to be turned off for now. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't going to do it. As soon as I notice there is something attacking, I will turn them back on. Granted, it might not be until something has actually, you know, reached us. But I will try my best. Okay, it's, it's, I do have prior form for that. It has to be said. Um, but I, like I say, I will try my best. Oh my god, we joined the wall up. That's it. It's all the way around on that side. Okay. Uh, now what? Now we need to continue going around Forester Hill, I guess. Um, we're going to have to work out some kind of plan to come across here as well, I think. I think that might make life a little bit easier, but it's going to take a lot of resources. I mean, I, I, I've already kind of mentioned the fact that it's going to cost a lot of resources. Maybe we should add some um, some places to put archer towers and stuff around the outside as well for, for you know, when more dragons attack. We don't need as many around the water, but uh, just, just one or two to, to poke those dragons with, with needles made of... Um, dragon poking metal that we, we've manufactured in our dragon poking metal factory uh, that we're going to put here 
Like it's it's a new a new a new part of the game. Like you probably haven't seen it. You know, uh, it's it's pretty exclusive. In fact, it's so exclusive only only I have it, and uh, it only exists in my head. So how about that, eh? You know, that's pretty good, isn't it? It's a pretty pretty good version of this game. I'll be honest. Now, how do we get Sir Gilorm's health back up? Do we just do we just leave him? Is that what we have to do? So if I recruit as many soldiers as he can have, I think that's an army of ten. Because we, we, I kind of foolishly trained, uh, cancel pending training, there we go. Right, we've, we've cancelled the, the pending training. That, that would do. So I don't know what Sir Gillom has in his little crew now, but hopefully that's going to free up a little bit more cash as well. Because right now it just seems to be disappearing before we even get the money to, um, let's, hang on, let's put him down here. Before we even get the money to, to like rebuild this, this manor house that went down. And all we need is, oh for God's sake. This doesn't help. The less people we have, the less money we've got coming in. The less money we've got coming in, the longer it's going to take to get these people their homes again. I'm just saying, alright? But at least we're stockpiling food while this is happening. So, food is no longer a problem. We can definitely, definitely say that, which means we can probably start destroying some of these farms over here. In fact, let's do that now, because that'll free up a... What the fuck's going on here? Um, okay. So they're homeless. I mean, I know I said you guys were stupid, but, um, they're homeless and just standing in the water. Just out in the ocean, you know? For no reason whatsoever. There, there is, there is literally no reason for them to be there. At all. Um, but at least, it looks like now we're boarding things up. They're kind of going, oh shit, we better, we better hightail it back inside the city. Because otherwise we're going to be stuck out in this ocean forever. And honestly, that's that's a pretty grim existence, right? Nobody wants to be living in an in, in, in the ocean in all your clothes. Just uh, you know not not really did I just spend all our money? Oh shit. Ah, that was that was kind of poor decision making on my part. I'm sorry. I uh, I was too busy chatting. I completely failed to notice the fact that peers cost like ten gold each. I mean I, I don't even think demolishing this is gonna gonna get our gold back. I don't want. I don't want to risk it, because then it's just a wasted ten gold, right? Uh, maybe let's just speed it up a little bit. Okay, a little bit of speed. Um, it, it is going to increase the chances that we get attack, attacked again, but uh, hopefully we can we can finally get that twenty five sweet sweet gold to to rebuild one of these poor manor houses for the people. Um, not not that it looks like it's happening at the moment. <laughs> Ah, shit. Come on. Give me, give me 25 gold. 23. 23, 24. Oh my god, this is like, like, oh yes, it's like being a child waiting for, uh, pocket money to come in, you know? When you've got enough pocket money to, to go and buy, like, a, a pack of, um, I don't know, pogs or mini boglins or, um, I don't know, maybe football stickers if you're into that kind of thing. I, I did have a lot of football stickers, like, when I was younger. Not so much as I got older, though. Kind of lost interest in football. Sorry if uh, you're a fan, but uh, I just, I don't know. I, I get why people like it, but I then a lot of it gets spoilt, you know? Like, uh, the, the the game of football, it's okay. But uh, the, the culture and stuff that surrounds it, kind of kind of messy sometimes. So, I just I just stay away, you know? Not really worth my time, um, all, the, all that hassle and trouble. But, uh, yeah, no, anyway, moving on. Year 98, we are nearly at 100 years of our city. Now, I don't know if there's any kind of time limit in this game. For all I know, we, we might be about to be kicked out of our city. Um, but it seems to me that um, we, we, we're doing pretty well. Like, I, I think I will be happy once our city is fully in, enclosed in wall. We've, uh, we've got some towers kind of scattered around. Maybe a few more houses over here. Because like I said, it would be nice to get some more, like, maybe middle class houses in. You know, to get some, get some money coming in that way. I mean, how much do the middle class houses cost? Okay, so they're, they're, they don't cost us any... Right, I think that might be a good idea, actually. So we're, we're going to start by doing some of that as well. We're going we're gonna to bring this road up. Okay, like this. Um, and then we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to have some houses along like that. Okay, and along like that. And then down the back, we're going to put another road like this. Oh, shit. Not that one. Box. There we go. Um, yeah, we're going to put another road all the way along here, 
and then we're going to put like you know some cool stuff along the back as well and uh, maybe a little bit of food production here um, and we we probably need to like look at our granary situation because we've got what have we got we've got a stockpile which is for resources um, we've got Chris Fields apparently there's the blacksmith um, what's this a warehouse oh it's another stockpile yeah we need to get a granary I think that might be a good idea so maybe we should put a granary over here because uh, that allows the people to kind of come and get their stuff, you know, um, just a small granary so we can move move some things over here for the people so it makes it easier for them to, to come and get their food. Um, I think that's probably a nice idea. Uh, it distributes the food a bit better around the city. We could also probably do with one down here, especially with all these resources and stuff being collected. But uh, for now, I think it's fine. Um, it looks like we've we've got plenty of iron. But we haven't got many tools left because we, we're burning through them with the foresters and the quarries, unfortunately. Uh, we do have enough money, though, to build our last manor house again. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, so how's the road looking? Oh, yes. It's already done. This is this is amazing work. Our, our citizens are, are just... They are fully on the ball. It's got to be said. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have three houses like this. And then one house like this. Okay. And then along here, we're just going to have a house like this, a house like this, and we're going to cut down this tree, just here, and we're going to put one more house there. So that's that's going to look pretty good as it is. But then we're also going to put a well just here. Um, here, in fact, I think. That's that's a good place to put a well. So we're going to chop down this tree as well. We're going to put down a well just here. We're, we're getting pretty close to this forest, but he's still got a good area to work in, at least. Um... And then we're, we're also going to put... Wow, a tavern? That could be cool, couldn't it? A tavern? Over here? I think that's a nice idea. Um, we're going to turn the tavern that way, though. So it's next to the granary. Still still against the road. So that's going to supply them with a bit of entertainment for now. We might we might need to extend the library up. But look, I mean, this is the thing. These, these areas all seem to connect. You know, when we click the church now, it seems to apply to all of these places over here as well. Um, which, I, I guess they just need a church or a library. They don't need both. Which is, that's that's good to know, you know? So you could you could just build libraries everywhere instead of building churches. And the churches are pretty expensive, let's be honest. Um, which which could be a good idea. Like, it would definitely uh, definitely save on space. And I think the church costs quite a lot to run as well. Which is, is a bit of a shame, because, um, you know, people people sometimes like religion, sometimes they don't. But I guess it's nice to have the choice, isn't it? That's the thing. So I guess the tavern's going to do the same job, which is awesome. Um, I don't know what else we need to put over here. Maybe we could put another hospital. We could save up and get the Lord Levy. That could be kind of fun, couldn't it? Uh, we haven't got a grand hall yet, which is a shame, because we have closed off the castle now. Um, so we could we could put a grand hall just here. You know, really, really kind of make this area. I'm going to do it. OK, it's the last it's the last thing we had to get for the castle. And I think it's going to make this area like really kind of rich and and make everybody feel like they're they're living in paradise. You know, we can even get a couple more houses along here, which is going to be nice. I, I think I might do that. I know uh, we, we probably should think about the food situation because now we're adding more houses. We, we, we're going to be needing yet more food coming in. So let's let's at least put two or, uh, two farms down there because that's that's definitely going to help. While I've got the money as well, I'm going to try and extend this this out with three more piers. Three, there we go. Because I really want to reach this other side. Like we're so close to enclosing this wall, and uh, I think what we need to do is um, let's let's have a little think. Yeah, I think I think we need to to start chopping through here. I think just going in a straight line across is going to be the right way. Like, trying to follow all the way around the edge of the island, going to be a pain in the ass to do. Uh, we are quite close to the forester, but again, he does still have a lot of area to work in. So I'm not not too worried about that. Um, can we can we just dump a bit of castle here? Nice. Okay, so we're, we're going to try and barricade off the bits they haven't planted trees in yet by putting castle down. And as soon as we see these ones freeing up, we'll be able to kind of connect up the uh, the edges, you see? Like this. Uh, we will have to go around this bit slightly, but then we can we can follow it all the way along here, 
all the way along here. We're using up all our resources here, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And there. Okay, so now we're now we are almost there. And once we've done this, we're going to have to build up some defenses. <gasps> it's year 100! Yay! Let's have a festival. That's going to be a nice way to finish it. Look, festival in progress, guys. I, I, I want... Oh, for God's sake, we haven't got enough money. All right, once the king has got enough money, we're going to be throwing a hundred, hundredth year... Oh, we've lost all our money. Okay, well, look, maybe next time, okay? We're, we're going to leave it there, because uh, the wall has been extended nicely. We haven't been attacked by anything again, but we did fend off a massive dragon, which is quite nice. I want to kick off a festival. There we go. I've kicked off a festival to let everybody know that it's a hundred years of uh, the city existing. Thank you very much for watching. Next time we come back, we're going to try and complete the wall. We'll, we'll build up the second layer. Check on our new bit of city that we've just uh, just finished building. And uh, see see how we're doing with the food situation and stuff. Don't forget to do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, like subscribing and, and pressing the like button. And I will see you in the next video.